So this is actually my first textbook. It's called Understanding the California Legislative Process. It's uh, just shy of 250 pages, and uh, it covers a fair amount of the California legislative process. Uh, part one deals with the legislature's powers and its role as an institution in chapters one through five. Part two of the book uh, starts in on the legislative process, and that's covered in chapters six through 18. Part three of this textbook deals with committee procedures, including bill referrals, which are covered in chapters 19 through 28. Part four of the book deals with floor procedures in chapters 29 through 41. Chapter five of this textbook deals with the legislative publications and other resources. It's in chapters 42 through 47. Part six deals with ethics in the legislative process in chapters 48 through 52. Part seven deals with influences on the legislative process in chapters 53 and 54. Part eight discusses legislative advocacy in chapters 55 through 58. Part nine concerns drafting and analyzing bills in chapters 59 through 73. Part 10 discusses statutory interpretation and legislative intent in chapters 74 through 77. Part 11 deals with the executive branch's role in the legislative process in chapters 78 through 80. Part 12 is on the California budget process and has chapters 81 through 84. And finally, there's part 13, which I've titled Legislative Process Misconceptions and Proposals for Reforms in chapters 85 and 88. So those are the uh, sections and chapters of my first textbook, again, on the California legislative process.